Once again, another tough break as uh, the ball caroms around down there, John, and uh, Warren County has a man right in position to make the play. Tommy Pitt really rifled it in there off the uh, Hank and shoulder pad. The ball went straight up in the air, and they were able to make the big pickoff. But the uh, defense is playing good. Let's hope they can hold it one more time. Here's the Pioneers now. Keeper, but partially to the near side, and Pitt meets him. And Parsley's rolled out of bounds at about the 17, almost the 18-yard line. Pitt really got a shot on Parsley. But the little guy took it and kept fighting for yardage and got another yard after the big hit. They finally push him out of bounds at the 18-yard line, where it will be second down and seven as Parsley gets three on the keeper. Lebanon up front. Clemens, Whitefield, Johnson, your three down linemen, Stafford and Lankford, the defensive ends, Titus Kelly, the strong safety. 20 to 20 ball game, 11 minutes to play, and they give it to the second man, and he gets the 20, makes the 21 yard line. No more, that's Shaq carrying the ball. He got to the 21, and it will bring up a third down and a long three situation. Actually, three and a half, call it third and three. Big third down play, both clubs here, 10-43. We're getting down into the fourth quarter, and we're tied 20-20 to -20 here at Noakes Lassiter Field. Lebanon and Warren County, big game for both ball clubs here tonight. Might determine who goes to the playoffs later on and who stays home. Double wideouts now for the Pioneers. Parsley underneath, and Parsley's back to throw. Fires to the wide side, and it's trapped. No good. Would not have been the first down because his end, James Brooks, had to come back for it. The pass was wide, and the Pioneers will have to kick it away. And, guys, you're seeing a different look out of this Blue Devil defense here in the second half. They're getting after people. I believe that sermon by Brother Bob Dillard at halftime may have had a little bit to do with inspiring this defense to rise to the occasion. Deep to return is rich for Lebanon back in punt formation will be Lamont Blevins. Blevins got a bad snap the last time he tried to kick it, had to pick up a roller. Let's see what happens here. Here is the kick, and not too good. Lebanon gonna let it roll, and it's not gonna take too much of a Warren County bounce. It'll hit at the 45 and roll down to the Lebanon 41 yard line, and the Blue Doubles will put it in play at that point. Terry Stafford, uh, what about that kick off the foot of Lamont Blevins? Blevins kick, another line drive kick, and Lebanon gets away from it, lets it hit the ground and bounce, so it ends up being a 37-yard punt for Blevins. Lebanon taking over on their own 42-yard line. And Lebanon needs a long drive and a score here now. 20-20, to 20, Blue Devils with the football. 10.06 left in the football game here at Lebanon High School. Blue Devils come back and have tied it up. Pitt wants to throw. Looks, fires wide. He's got his man, Pereer. Pereer's at the 50, down to the 49-yard line. Made the 48 and gets awfully close to the first down. I think he's going to be inches shy, but it'll bring up a second down and about a foot to go, and that gives you a little something to play with, does it not? It certainly does, and John, that out route is one that you really like to see. You're right, Tommy, because what that out route does is set up the down, out, and down for later on in the game. The D-backs get to uh, take for granted that they're going to run the out, and next thing you know, Hankins will bust another big down, out, and down for a big play. Lebanon sets him down, second down and a foot to go, and Pereer wants to throw. He's got his man, Adam Pitt, at the 40, down over the 38, down to the 36-yard line goes Adam Pitt, first down, Lebanon. Hey, let's, let's talk about that throw from Damon Pitt. He takes the quick drop, throws off his back foot. He sees the tight end, Adam Pitt, open quickly. He just took about a half step, maybe threw it off the back foot that was all arm for the first down yardage. And Terry, that young quarterback's having a pretty good game, even with the interceptions. Tommy, that pick up good for 12 yards. So Pitt now is nine of 25 for 253 yards. And two of those interceptions were ricochets. Double wide outs for Lebanon. And here comes Reeves, the fullback. Reeves still on his feet, over the 30, over the 25. Down, well, I think they're going to mark his knee at the 26-yard line. I thought he made the 24, but Reeves going to rip off about eight or nine yards, and that's Reeves' biggest carry of the night, so those passes are loosening up that defense in the middle. Lebanon came with a trap play as they overset Reeves to the left, brought him back 
with the pulling action by that offensive line. Good gain, about nine yards on first down for the Blue Devils. Second down, one for the Blue at the 26-yard line. Hankins near side, Preer far side. And here's the throw to Hankins, complete. Hankins shakes a tackle. He's at the 20, still on his feet. Hankins makes the 15-yard line. First down, Lebanon. They'll give him, they'll mark it at about the 15 and a half. Call it the 16-yard line. Football, length of the football inside the 16, and Lebanon will have it first and 10. And John, there's a Wilson World photographer right there who's pretty well pumped up by that pass and catch. I tell you what, Tommy, it's easy to get pumped up when the Blue Devils are throwing a ball like this. What it does is loosen up that, uh, that linebacker core for the uh, Warren County Pioneers and makes that run work even better. Pitt with the call. Hand off to Greer. Greer got one, two yards. He moves inside the 15 to the 13-yard line. Warren County played that one pretty well. Football squarely at the 13-yard line now. Second down and seven for the Blue Devils. As Lebanon with an opportunity to take the lead in this football game with eight minutes and five ticks left on the clock, and we're tied at 20. Lebanon will send Rudd and Adam Pitt wide left, bring Hankins into the near side, and looking at a second down seven, Pitt will make the call and looks back, wants to throw. He fires to Hankins, and the pass is a little high and goes through Hankins' hand at the 11-yard line. Covered pretty well that time. Uh, it was a good throw and a catchable ball, but Hankins couldn't hang on as it went through his hands. And it was thrown a little bit high, but that was another one of those things. That's the type ricochets on you. Well, and that has been the bugaboo tonight for Lebanon's offense is the ball caroms off a couple of receivers. And uh, here we go now with a third down. Third and seven now for the Blue Devils at the 13-yard line. Reverse. And here comes Pereira. Pereira at the 10, Pereira at the 5, Pereira to the 3, maybe the 2-yard line. First down, Lebanon. Lebanon line Preer up in the slot and faked the ice play inside and gave it to Preer going against the grain. We pull Wilson out in front of him and a couple of good blocks at the point of attack and Lebanon now first and goal as Preer takes it down, knocking on the door on the reverse play. All right, it's at about the two-yard line where it will be first down and goal for the Blue Devils. Preer on a reverse Gets it down from the 13 to the 2, gain of 11 and a first down. Lebanon now knocking on the door. Matt Greer to the near side, Hankins to the far side. The call is to the fullback, and he'll go down near the goal line. Reeves got awfully close. He did not get in, but he's down inside the one-yard line. John, we got a pretty good spot on that roll by the fullback, Ryan Reeves. I don't think his knee ever hit the ground, Tommy. He uh, he actually rolled over our big lineman, number 70, Danny Park. I'm sorry, uh, Mark Wilson on that play. I don't think his knee ever hit. He rolled into the end, so they, they mark it right at the one. Second and goal from the one. And here's the call. And again, they give it to Reeves, the fullback, and Reeves did not get in, but he gets down near the goal line. It'll be third and goal from inside the half-yard line. Well, they didn't give him much gain where they marked the football now. In fact, from, uh, from where the, the spot was on the previous play, we may have lost just a little <laughs> yeah. bit on that play. Third down and goal for the Blue Devils. Double wide out formation for Lebanon. Pitt with a sneak, and I don't, touchdown Lebanon. Pitt kept churning, got turned around, and kindly stuck his rear end in the end zone, and just kept those legs churning, Tommy, and finally got it in there. Just have to break the plane, and Damon had enough. 205 pound senior quarterback with a good body lean. That's what Johnny Majors used to talk about with that good body lean. Well, he had the good body lean, but it was a butt lean. <laughs> John, you've got the call of this PAT. Thank you, Tommy. Ryan Stevens, a sophomore place kicker in to attempt the point after. Once again, Rudd to hold. The long snapper this time is Parkinson. The kick is up. It's a fake. It's a fake. Rudd takes it in. They don't give it to him. He's about a half a half a yard short, and I thought he was going to get in at the last moment. A Warren County Pioneer 
I believe it was Womack coming up to make the stop. And the, the two-point conversion is nullified. 6.01 remaining in this contest. The comeback kids, the Blue Devils, are up 26 to 20. 6.01 to go in the game. This time in the ball game, going 42 yards and 10 plays, Pitt scores the touchdown. 6.01 left in the fourth. It's 11 and 26, Warren County 20. Here's Lebanon's kickoff, long and deep to the six, coming to the near side, trying to shake and get outside, crosses the 20, out to the 24-yard line, carrying the ball is Allen Perkins, and Perkins makes a good return. They give him the 25, and he brings it from the six to the 25-yard line, where the Pioneers will put it in play at their own 25, and the Lebanon Blue Devils have finally taken the lead, but it's a precarious one, 26-20 with just 5.55 left in the ballgame. Rudd and Stafford combine on the tackle, and let's clarify on that PAT, Danny Parkerson snapped, short hopped Rudd. It wasn't a planned fake. He was, he was trying to make something after that sh short hop punt. And snap. almost made the two. Parsley down the line. Lebanon's going to dive and tackle him as he crosses the 30 to the 30 and a half yard line. So Parkinson, or Parsley rather, gets about five and a half on the carry. Call it second down five for the Pioneers at their own 30 yard line. Blue Devils have to keep the big play from happening from here on in and let that clock run as it's doing now to five and a half minutes left in the football game. Well, a six point lead. It's awfully. Awfully precarious, 527 to go in the game in regulation as Warren County does have that big play capability. Double wide outs, they give it to the big man and he's got the first down as he blasts over the 35 to the 36 yard line. Lucas makes the tackle, Shaq the tailback made the run for the Pioneers and gets the first down. Shaq with three touchdowns against us here tonight. And I believe a couple of interceptions. That kid's had a night. He's had a season here against the Blue Devils oh, tonight. Man, and he sure has. This reminder, folks, we'll be on the road next week traveling to MTSU to take on Riverdale next week. Riverdale locked up with Mount Juliet in a big one in the other end of the county. They give it to Shaq this time, and boy, the Blue